I'm with Sandy McLean today after Largs Thistle's 3-1 victory over Coburnley Lightside. An excellent win for you there, Sandy. Um, how big a performance was that for you? I thought it was a terrific performance for the players. They did everything that was asked of them. And really that's all we can ask, because uh, everybody keeps saying how good Coburnley are and they are. They're a very good side. So you need to be able to cope with what they're doing as well as got on your own game, and, and that's what the players done. So uh, I was absolutely delighted. Yeah. Um, I guess, like Ellen, she's no a failure in the team today, really was. I mean, right into that last gasp, John Paul Day was diving in to make sure that Kabani couldn't get up the park, uh, and uh, Ryan Dees was was jinking away, and everybody played their part. Today. Yeah, absolutely. It's a real team performance, and I keep saying that to anybody that will listen. Week in, week out, we've got 21 players now and, and 21 players that are capable of playing and today showed the strength because you know we've, we've had a lot of people missing from holidays and uh, John Robertson missing through work commitments etc so it was really pleasing because people Alan Barnes, Thomas Jimson going in and as I keep saying the team doesn't miss a beat and that's a strength. Was there was any problems today as far as you were concerned? There's always problems, you know, Coburnley are, are a good side and in this league you take your eye off it for a minute and and, and you'll be behind. No, I, I felt it was a good game. I felt we were we certainly merited the win and I don't I don't think the Coburnley officials would, would, would argue with that, but it, it certainly wasn't easy, you know, I've heard some people making some weird comments after the match, but it wasn't easy and it never is when we play Coburnley because, as I say, they've got people that hurt you in the blink of an eye. Um, one thing that was contentious was the penalty award. Well, we're quite a way away from it, but to me, I, I think Ross has won the ball fair and square. But the referee says he's went through the player uh, in order to get the ball, but from where I am, I, I don't see that. But the referee, you know, fair play to him, he's, he's, he's gave it and just got on with his own game, and, and the fair players responded absolutely fantastically to that. They, weren't, they didn't want to lose today. Take us through the goals then. The first goal, you know, the first goal, got a, you know, really early. We got in behind them. John Paul said a header and a shot, and it's bounced back out. And you think, ah, oh, it's going to be one of these days. And Monaghan's finish was was first class. Really, really good, top quality finishing right across the goalkeeper, low and hard. Uh, second one, Eddie makes a fantastic run at the corner kick. So he's he's uh, done really, really well. Great ball in for these. And the third one. Real quality from Ryan Dees, but it was, I felt it was good play up to that point as well, you know. And if the pass went awry, and Ryan went after it, and made it into a pass, you know, he's, he's, he's skinting the boy all ends up, and Andy Monaghan got an easier finish all season. So, really pleasing, good quality in all of the goals, good quality in number play in general today. So, very, very happy. Um, shouldn't forget either Ross McMillan and his comeback again today after in Paris last week. He made a great clearance off the line, didn't he? Yeah, as I say, uh, you know, if, if you want, if anybody wants to listen to me, I think I've got two of the best centre backs in junior football, and, and Ross and Alan Eddie Walton. And the more they play together, the better they'll get together. Uh, both don't mind stepping off it while the other goes to win the ball, and that's always a benefit because sometimes if you have an out-and-out -out centre half who just wins the ball, he won't step off somebody. But they, they dovetail each other really, really well. And as I say, throwing Gary Davison into that mix, and there's three defenders there playing really, really well week in, week out. And then Thomas in today doing the exact same. Gary Davison didn't need to pick up the gloves today against Go Burnley. Um, but on saying that, um, looking towards next week, um, it's a different challenge again. Uh, Edinburgh um, are sitting away in the cup. What do you know about them? Don't know too much about them. Uh, don't know too much about them. They're, they're kind of ropey start to the season, uh, but we'll do our homework on them for next week. As I say, you know, you've heard me say before, we do one at a time. We enjoy the Saturday, hopefully, when we get a win, which we did today. Uh, we'll regroup, see who's back from their holidays, see what injuries we've got on Monday night, and then push the thing on for there. Might be difficult to leave anyone out that played today. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's what we ask. We ask when you go in, try and nail the position. So it's difficult for, for Pat and I to sit and say, well, you know, I need to leave out Alan McCabe, I need to leave out Gordon Lampton or whoever it may be. Their guys have been in the last couple of weeks and been, been very, very good. So, aye, that's the problems you like.